that's my damn rig. Hey, that's my rig. Hey, you, that's my damn rig. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> this is the science fiction rating system, a podcast about science fiction films and ratings. My name is Sam Draper, and I'm joined, as ever, by my two co-hosts, Alex Humphrey. Hey is this your new and broadcaster way of saying it? Well, I, I was being professional, and you ruined that by just talking straight <laughs> in the middle of my introduction. And that's the well, other host. You went, I'm, not, think... I'm not going to introduce now. <laughs> okay, he shall not be introduced. His name's Chris, and he's ruined my introduction. Yeah. Oh. What was wrong? I was, I was quite just trying to be yeah, professional. Yeah, it was good. Paced, no, I liked I it, measured. It. I We've not recorded in a while, have we? So I thought, you know, better... No. Uh, no, no. better He's you know. back in. He's back in. Mm-hmm. That guy, the rig, that rig quote, that is, surely that is, I mean, you're a director, Chris. That's just a person who's been said, like, they just said, oh, just do your line. But he's gone, all right, I'll do my line seven times. <laughs> Five times, yeah. <laughs> so I get noticed in this film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did my line. He's enjoying himself a lot more than oh, anybody yeah. else in that film. We had a guy <laughs> like that on the shoot, like, where he had, like, one small line, but he, like, elongated every word. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> Brilliant. As if, like, literally, like, seconds mean money type thing. <laughs> and I was like, just, like, throw the line away. Just say it quickly. Like, throw it away. But he was, like, just saying it really long. Wow. Um, that you might be able to spot it. him when the film is released. <laughs> is, is this your L.A. film or your film film? This is the film film. Film film, oh. right. Yeah. Chris has been in L.A. because he's uh, Hollywood. Uh, yep. Disney, Disneyland, do you say it's Disneyland? Oh, I had the full hell-a experience. We nice. actually did a lot of the tourist shit as well. But it was did you? Oh, good. Very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Working with the mouse now. Working the with mouse the house. Mouse. Yeah. Down with the mouse. I'm NDAs. willing to... Uh, NDAs. I'm willing to oh, NDAs. Something. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, well, the mouse house could be anything, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I'm willing to cut out all swearing and controversy to get a mouse house contract for this podcast. Okay. So, just, Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Next time you see Walt... Yeah, in his, in we his could just tube. Let him know we could, when I see could, his head. Yeah, bobbing around in liquid <laughs> nitrogen. Yeah, we could just do Disney films. I mean, yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah, if you pay me, I'll do anything. No, actually, that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> most <laughs> things I do. Most things. Whoa. Um, yeah. Before we get started, we might better just say again: this is another military-based podcast, yeah. and so as the world is still in the grip of Russia's horrible invasion of Ukraine, <sighs> and if you are sensitive to those sorts of things right now, as you it might well be fair enough. Don't listen to this episode. Yeah, I mean, this is a bit of shop talk, but probably we should just be doing like fun films from for a period of time, like just yeah. really like. I mean, light, all, you know, happy. all I can say is that um, it was a bad time to pick our first military-based trilogy of films, <laughs> wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> we are anything but uh, re- we are anything but reliable to be completely ill-timed yeah, with what yeah, we do yeah that's so sorry pretty much that. guaranteed yeah, yeah i mean yeah uh, but this is the how conclusion we, how were we supposed to know if we weren't though. we definitely it a, didn't it was a low it was a low chance probability thing we've got the wire to the mouse house not to the yeah putin house i'm gonna try something to say something bad about him i couldn't think anything would work this is our third military film not only military but it's a, a science fiction a naval based uh films yeah. Mm. We've seen Battleship, terrible. Uh, we saw Final Countdown, eh. Yeah. Eh. Could have been better. Could have been better. And we're finishing off with The Philadelphia Experiment mm. uh, from 1984, the year of my birth. And uh, directed by Stuart Raffil. Mm. Had either of you seen this film before? No. Had either of you heard of the... The myth of the Philadelphia Experiment. No, I yes, hadn't. you had conspiracy. Yeah. conspiracy theory. No, Alex is yeah. a bit of conspiracy nut, isn't he? So is this? Uh... No, I'm not. <laughs> he probably no, wrote. I had it. heard of it though. He I had heard of Wikipedia this. Wikipedia page probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let's right. a little background on that. Um, so the Philadelphia Experiment is one of these like myths about a thing that happened that the USS Eldridge vanished for a bit. The most interesting thing about it is that the guy who did the hoax started the hoax by sending a copy of a book about UFOs to somebody else. And then in the margins, he wrote an imaginary conversation between three aliens in which they referenced <laughs> this Philadelphia experiment. <laughs> and the guy who got the book eventually got like contacted the guy back and was like, who wrote these, mar- who wrote these things in the margins? He's like, Oh, well it was me and my alien mates. And mm, we wow. saw a ship disappear. 
It's quite a 1955 that was. It's a more complicated con going on then, but mm. I, I, I like, like it. it. That's good. Yeah, I suppose, it, I suppose yeah. it's pre like visual. You couldn't like hoax a, you know, do like a video of Bigfoot then. Could no, you? So you no, had to no, like no, more no. creative in the yeah, in the book yeah, realm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yes, um, also known as Project Rainbow, but I think Philadelphia Experiment's a better name. Hey, hey, you know we've already watched one of uh, Stuart uh, Raffles Raffles films. Have we? Yeah. Do you, do you know which oh. one it is? <laughs> just just t- found out. Yeah. Tammy and the T Rex. Yeah. Nice. And also, he's involved in one of the. I mean, I don't know if it was the biggest flop, but it's definitely one of the heralded as one of the worst films of all time. He's also the director of that. Do you know what that is? No. Mac and Me. Oh, Mac and Me. Yeah. Yeah. Which oh, I was dear. almost like, should we do Mac and Me? And then I'm like, maybe we don't need that in our lives. I mean, at some point, we that bit off point. the cliff's amazing. It's worth watching just for that, really. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, I think I mentioned this not on air, but John Carpenter wrote the original draft of this script, and there's a fantastic quote from him uh, where he calls this this film absolute bullshit, <laughs> mm. <laughs> which I love. Uh, and so he kind of gave up on it, I think. Well, the guy, um, the, the guy that directed it said by the time he was involved, it had been rewritten nine times. Yeah. I know that there was a, a, a naval battle that ended uh, Carpenter's oh. draft, so obviously it's moved on a lot from oh. then. But yeah, uh, absolute bullshit, bullshit, <laughs> tough stuff, and, uh, but still made. So, Philadelphia Experiment. Um, well, as we've already discussed, there's a ship that goes missing. We start, don't we, back in Philadelphia in October 1943, mm. and you get some nice period... Um, but uh, hold on, but straight off the bat, right? I yeah. watched uh, the Blu ray version of this, right? Oh, yeah. So it's HD. Yeah. And it really doesn't look like it's set in the 40s. I don't mm. know if it's the lighting or the haircuts or what, but it's very already quite 80s looking, even in the 40s, isn't You're right. it? It doesn't help the, the lead guy is extremely 80s, isn't he? He's got a very 80s haircut, <laughs> yeah. very yeah. 80s bro yeah. accent. Yeah, and they're all doing this dancing and like, oh, hey, Sally, let's go for a jive. And it's all that. And, but you just like, it just looks, it just looks like, I don't know, it just really looks like 80s, doesn't it? Like It, it does. It's a bit, hey, Sally, let's go for a jive. But it's also a bit like, we're sailors, let's fuck. Like every other line they're saying like, yeah, yeah. better get on yeah. with it, I'm, I'm off tomorrow. Yeah, um, yeah, it's one of those situations. Which I don't want to think about. Sa- dirty sailors going port to port. <laughs> Who wants to know about that? Also, this is the the, the hero, the hero heroic lead of the film that we're yeah. we're introduced to. Don't you think it puts you off him as a lead, knowing he's a bit of a? Oh yeah, 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 it's, yeah, awful. yeah it's not good. You want I mean, a wholesome he li- man, don't you? He literally <laughs> says later on, uh, he joined the navy to have a girl in a every, every port, port. Yeah. and he says something like, "Oh, I love uh, Porsches and old music," and you're like, "Oh wow, yeah, yeah. what a catch you are!" Like. <laughs> I mean, at least he does stay true to type in that when he does get a relationship, he's like basically an abusive arsehole, isn't he? Like he's yeah. he's 1940s yeah. man. Yeah, um, yeah, yes. He's totally the wrong... I mean, I guess because the other character, his mate, has got a, a, a wife and like, you know, well, a girl, hasn't he? And she's pregnant and yeah. he's the kind of nice guy. But it's almost like I feel like there was maybe a draft where he was the uh, hero, but then they were like, ah, nah. Not in the 80s. That. Not the 80s. You've got to go with an the... 80s character. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, David and Jim, they're the two who are off. As, as Alex says, Jim's got a partner. David's swinging loose, looking for a bit of fun before he leaves port. Yeah. Um, alas, no fun to come. No. Um, tomorrow they ship off, and there's a really nice scene. Well, it's not nice. They're going over the bridge, and they're all, like, going off to the base. And they go through, like, a like a set of a town. And there's a woman, like, just waving maniacally on the corner at them. <laughs> Is that his, uh, his wife? I think that's his wife. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the other guy. Yeah, but it does look really like stupid. That. It's very strange, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I like as well that they're on special sea detail. That's what it's called. It's <laughs> 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 <That's> good stuff. <laughs> it's a good, uh, like, rubbish name for the secret, secret yeah. experiment. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the secret experiment, which is there's a shady guy who's um, uh, like meandering about, uh, Dr. Jim Longstreet. Mm. Um, but he, the ex- experiment itself is not really going to involve any eggheads at all, is it? Because on a different ship. No. Um, you'd think they'd still put someone a bit more competent in charge of the science side, would you? Because yeah. it seems like they're yeah. just normal sailors, doesn't it? And they're left yes. in charge of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is, and, I suppose, the most advanced thing they've ever done, isn't it? But, yeah, and also it looks a bit like there's like just a ship, and then this is that one room full of light bulbs. Yeah, that is the machine. 
So everyone yes. else on the ship is just like, cool, why am I here? I mean, yeah. do I do I need to be manning the guns? Like, do they need all those people on the board? Yeah, I don't board? know. Yeah, like, surely if you're going to, if the experiment is to see if they can vanish it, you put the minimum people possible on that ship, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. It's the ship you disappear in, it's not the people. Especially no. when you see what happens to them at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> really exactly. regretted that assignment. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a nice ship tech anyway. Chris, how are you rating the ship? The ships in this one so far? Are you, are you on board with the naval stuff? Well, it's obviously whatever they've enough. got lying around when they were, you know. Is it is it period appropriate, at least? Do you it know? might be. It could be like a, it could be like reserve. It should, could mm. be from the era, do you know what I mean? Like, but yeah. Uh, mothballs right mm. yeah um, but anyway they start the experiment and there's some absolutely awful visual effects I figured out why it doesn't look like the 40s it looks like the 80s in that disco scene it's why because it's like there's a smoke machine and balloon <laughs> and like coloured balloons like blow up balloons yeah I'm not sure they had all that like like latex balloons or yeah. whatever they are <laughs> just in the smoke machine <laughs> and dis- disco disco lights. lights yeah yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it does not look like the 40s at all. No. No. Someone didn't do their research with that. I mean, they might have gone to the fancy dress and got the right outfits, but nothing else. Yeah, it outfits. had a very like Amdram feel to it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I remember being a sailor outfit in Theatre Workshop. It felt a bit like that. Yeah. Like they're just dressed yeah. up for the day. Isn't it? I don't really understand the technology which is allowing the ship to do what they are proposing. No. I mean, they've got all them light bulbs. And that's it, isn't which it? Which looks quite good. Yeah. Yeah. I think there was a version of this that had a bit more sciencey talk in it, but that got eradicated for more romance, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it is actually a very fifties kind of uh, sci-fi horror looking set, isn't it? Really, that that yeah. room with Just all the tons of light bulbs, light bulbs. Yeah, a bit yeah. Frankenstein's machine thing. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. It, it's all right when the effect starts. It's not so good when they sort oh, of pulse yeah. the colours pulse in and out. Yeah, it looks ridiculous. Bit weird. Um, yeah. It's poor, but it doesn't last very long. And very quickly they disappear, and they're gone. And uh, they, it's a bit weird. But when they're like, they 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 run through like water for ages, don't they? Like they're like lost in some sort of weird time that's not real. <laughs> it yeah, really doesn't make any time sense at all. Tunnel, aren't they? Yeah, they're in the tunnel, and the, the, the time tunnel's wet. Yeah, they like run through water. Yeah, and the the the, 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 the town because I just thought, why is that um, manhole flying past them? But that's the town, oh, yeah, isn't the it? Yes, yeah. But that's the town. It's really hard to see that that's the town until oh, the end. Oh, it's a town. It wasn't a manhole. Yeah, oh, it's oh, the right. town. I it was a manhole. No, I thought. Yeah, <laughs> right, me too. Right, okay. Yeah. But then I think at the end, when you see it again, it's it's like the town. But right. I don't know why they're bigger. And oh, it just really didn't make any sense. Um, the best thing is that when they come round. They freak out because of a helicopter, and then they run into an electrified, electrified fence and electrocute themselves. Yeah, like that is really funny. <laughs> it's uh, I do like how it always looks nice in a desert, doesn't it? A film, put yeah. a film in a desert. It's nice to see two characters in a desert. Yeah, I think if your <laughs> yeah. film was flogging and, it, and it's not desert. flagging, sorry, like just get a desert involved. Yeah, oh yeah, I agree. They've yeah. obviously just used whatever was at hand here. Yeah. You know. Mm. I mean, um, that time tunnel thing is like a little bit like Kubrick, isn't it? Yeah. Very, or, very cheap. Or like some Kubrick. analog disco effect that they found. Yeah. Mm. There's but like what? that like disc which they fly to. It's really strange. That's what we were just saying. That's the manhole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah that's, that's but the it's town. got actual like a city and a... It's, it, that's what yeah. I was just it's saying. A mini- it's a yeah, but it's a miniature. Like It's quite interesting right, like what they've done. Yeah. Right? It's, it's a bit like they, they, they just... It's, it's obviously was written as a sci-fi, and it's a bit like whoever the way it ended up. They didn't really like the sci-fi bits. Mm. They just wanted a character drama or mm. a rom- like. It's almost like the sci-fi is the least interesting. Well, it's bit more to- like Wizard of Oz than like a sci-fi thing, isn't it? Yes. It's like yeah, they may yeah. have also just had no money. Yeah, it's very cheap, yeah. isn't it? They just use what they've got. Um, I like that when they land and they go, the guy says, what's that? There's some water in the distance. And the guy goes, no, that's a mirage. But then they actually walk <laughs> yeah. to it and it really is water. Yeah. And yeah. Like, oh, we're in the mirage. Well, that's not, mirage isn't really water, is it? That's the, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to misunderstanding what that is. Yeah. It doesn't, yeah, that's, that's, you're right. That desert does look good. Yeah. It's a bit of an endless desert, isn't it? Um, um, I think mean, it's just a big car park. Oh, it's, it's a nice car park. No, they're definitely a desert, aren't they? No, mm. it's just a big, like, bit of ground. It looks deserty. It mm. is a bit too wet, though. It looks a bit beachy, doesn't it? 
<laughs> yeah, I think it's literally like the beach in like where the naval base is. Like they've yeah. literally gone and done a <laughs> just up to Maybe. the side. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, yeah, they're buzzed by planes and stuff like that. And because there's another experiment going on nearby, uh, most notably Ned Ryerson from Groundhog Day is here. <laughs> Much younger. Yeah, yeah, Ned? yeah, yeah. Uh, Ned? Always nice to see Ned Ryerson. Uh, but, he's in but, a lot but of films, isn't he? He's in a lot of stuff. You don't normally see him this young, do you? Bit weird no. seeing a young Ned Ryerson. Yeah. No. I wonder how old he was when this was made. I bet he's uh, Stephen Tobol. He was about Tob- twenty. Tobolowski, that's him. Isn't it? <laughs> Fifty-one, sixty-one, seventy-one, eighty-one. He was thirty-three. Wow. God, that's oh, depressing, okay. isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, what, yes, what, is it? Is he like a Saturday Night Live person or something? Was he famous or outside of them two films? I I feel like there's a film about him because he's been in so many films. Yeah, he, he's one of those that guys, isn't he? Like, he's in loads of stuff. Yeah. I can't think of anything. The only thing I think of, actually, he's in The Glimmer Man, a, a Steven Seagal oh. film. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, off God. But, uh, what, oh, he's in Memoirs of Invisible Man. Yeah, Sneakers. He's in loads of stuff. Yeah, a lot. He's got oh, a lot Louise. of credits. Ned? Spaceballs, of course, he's in Spaceballs, isn't he? Uh, he's the captain of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Spaceball. Yeah. Anyway, good to see him. Uh, and he's here. Is he Ned of... Ryerson or did he shout Ned Ryerson when he's shouting he... at Bill Murray? Oh, yeah, no, he's Ned Ryerson, is he? Mm. he Who's he Ned shout? Ryerson? He shouts Ned Ryerson. He, no, you're right, he shouts Ned Ryerson, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. He, thinks, he thinks Bill Murray's yeah. Ned Ryerson. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! Sorry, he is actually no because <laughs> no because that's the time when Bill Murray shouts it back. He goes, "Yeah, when he's like enthusiastic, goes, Ned. yeah, Ned yeah. Rice, and then puts you in the face." Yeah, yeah. I don't know no, where he... you've got to go, but yeah, he is Ned Rice. <laughs> yeah, okay. I kind of got to the bottom of that. Uh, yeah, no. Anyway, Ned Rice is there. There's a second experiment going on with a suspiciously um, uh, scientist scientist guy who is very much like straight away. You know, is the guy, don't you? Basically, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah, they're not even, you know, the yeah, it's very the obviously him. Yeah, yeah. again. And here's yeah. another experiment, which, I don't know, as you learn about what's gone on in this film, and that, like, basically that one went wrong and mm. was a they denied biggest it. disaster. Yeah. The fact this guy's just, like, covered that up and he's now doing the same thing again is extremely mm. irresponsible. Don't yeah, it's the military. Yeah. yeah, but if the first one was a failure, surely. Yeah, and I know, they... but they, if you listen to some other, con- like, conspiracy theory stuff, like what I have... Uh, like, like the guy who goes has been to Area Fifty One. The guy yeah. who was on the Joe Rogan thing. They reckon he was like, oh yeah, and they're fucking around with this ship, and like, there's always massive, like, like things that go wrong, and just tons of people get killed, and they just get a whole new bunch of people into like <laughs> experiment with this. Wow. Ship. Oh, God. Well, you never know. Crazier things have happened. Well, it's because they're trying to like use explosives to like blow open a, an alien ship, and it's just not possible, type thing. You know, it's I mean, like you say they are, they aren't, are they? But in, in a, in a conspiracy <laughs> it's a great mind, story, but they you are, know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, they're not, but um, yeah. right. Well, there's a lot the in this in this film. Mm. There's a lot of them from the 40s being yeah. freaked out by the 80s, isn't well, there? I was about to say, yeah, this yeah. Is a, we're in that classic yeah. thing now with the fish out of water. It Was the 40s and the 80s like, okay, punks, fair enough. I get the punks bit. Mm. But w- there's a bit where they see a van and they're like, oh, and there's like quite a lot of stuff that they see and get really, really upset. Yeah, by I didn't it. get that. When they see the lorry and you thought, being in the military, yeah. you probably saw a lot of lorries even in the 40s, didn't you? And it's not that Not different. necessarily as big, but still. no. Yeah. And it's not like a mass... It's not like you've gone from no TV to TV. No. Or and like, also, like, once... I don't the, think they had TV in the 40s. Didn't they? No. No? I thought, I thought they did. It was, no. not every, the TV exists in the 40s, No, it? It, was, it was wireless. It was radio in, oh, the, yeah. in the 40s. Yeah, well, OK, anyway. fair enough. Um, well. I, th- I feel like once the, the Moni guy goes back, the guy with the funny arm, the <laughs> other guy settles in very fast into the... Yeah, 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 that's true. That's um, true. He's got yeah, but it, it. at this stage, they're looking at arcade machines and yeah. being like, oh, oh I love that video. The battle, battle zone cabinet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and what's the film they're watching on the TV? Is it like. Uh, um, it's called Humanoids from the Deep. It's yeah, another. It's like swamp thing or something, right? It's yeah. another New World picture film. Uh, but the, the thing is, it wouldn't be on TV because it. Because the it, tits. It, it's out in eighty. It came out in eighty four, so it oh, right, been on. Okay. T- so it's like a like a bit of a weird. But it's one of their films. Also, it's proper like gruesome and horrible for something that just is on TV yeah. in the middle of the day and gratuitous <laughs> nudity as well. Which, yeah, uh, and just screaming. Very eighties, I guess. 
<laughs> yeah, they're in the diner uh, and they're doing lots of business. And they've got these funny arms, haven't they? Their arms keep pulsing and hurting yeah. and stuff like this, which... And a very bad special effect. Which is stupid. Uh, and they meet the, the, the romantic lead, whose name I've just I've replaced with Billy Ned Ryerson. <laughs> 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 I can't look that up right now. Uh, what was his name? Alison Gaze. With Red that's Ned it. Yeah. Alison. Uh, who is... Uh, she's come down to Nevada for a job. This is a weird way of getting a woman in the film, wasn't it? Yeah. She'd come for a job, was ringing up from a random rest stop to check if she'd still got it and hadn't got it, mm. but was had got this far mm. to be in the middle of nowhere and at rest stop. Yeah. And mm. then conveniently spends an awful long time getting back in the car. Yeah. <laughs> to allow for the hostage situation yeah. to happen where our intrepid sailors take her hostage. Yeah. Um, and you kind of know what this film is going to be, don't you, already? Really? There's no surprises to come here, are there, from this? Not really. It's, it's instantly no. one of these, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Um, uh, there's one surprise, I would say. Okay. Involving the uh, the second character, I'd say that's right. A little yeah. bit of a, a bit like, oh, I didn't think that that would happen, but but this lovers stuck together. Oh, you yeah. Know. Who? What else is this woman in? She's been in something else. Isn't uh, she? Robocop. Robocop. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, she's, yeah, yeah. She's a she's sidekick. A, They'll fix you. They fix everyone. Nancy yes, Allen. Yeah. Uh, winner of the Golden Raspberry Award for Dress to Kill. Oh, I don't Ooh. mind Dress to Kill. That's, um, what's it? Uh, oh, oh, God. Um, Brian De Palma. Brian, Brian De Palma, mm. yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, but she was actually nominated for a Best Actress Award for Philadelphia Experiment. For this? At the Saturn Awards. They don't count. Oh, no, not, yeah. I mean, Saturn Award. No. What the I fuck's mean, she's, that? She's fine, but she doesn't get a best i no mean there must have been no the other saturn awards um <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> the sci-fi uh, awards are you Chris uh, for saturn awards no, awards. Awards. Yeah. i mean yeah no maybe there weren't <laughs> many other females in sci-fi films in this year i don't know but there's not many doing... films full stop yeah she's not doing a bad job but she's not doing i mean i mean she's just 80s leading woman isn't she this yeah. whole film is all very remarkable for the fact that it's just mm. it's very formulaic and very 80s isn't it like there's so yeah. many of these films that are just this star man mm. That's yeah, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, he kidnapped the there's the naval dude's kidnapper, and they're still very confused about the year. It finally, clicks that maybe they're not in the forties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a fun thing to watch in films like this, isn't it? How just how long they can drag that out until they ask the question, yeah. "What year is it?" Although this, the one thing I will give credit to this film is this: mm. that there is a point. I'm jumping ahead a little bit mm. where that he's talking to some doctors. And he says, he tells the story of how he got there. And he says, uh, it's kind of time travel. I don't know. Is that weird? Can you guys do that now? And I've never seen a film where someone goes in the future and actually goes, oh, but am I Can wrong? Is it? it actually possible to? Because it's not an unreasonable well, thing Well, if he's seen a load of other shit, which he thought wasn't possible. Yeah, that's not that unreasonable to go forward in time and go, oh, I'm sorry. It's time. Tra- Maybe you guys are just doing time travel all the time. Other you than know. telly, though, I mean, there's not much which, like, is that different, is there? I, that's why I, that's why it annoyed me that he's always like, ah, oh, like it's, it's not like the like cars that. are flying or something. Or... No, no. I mean, yeah, the car's automatic, which throws him, doesn't it? Which is stupid because <laughs> it's easy to drive, isn't it? Yeah. Why can't he drive? If he can drive clutch. Why can't he drive an automatic? No, I don't. He know. freaks out because of that one. Yeah. Um, a bit weird. Uh, I like how they they halfway through they switch to an old car, don't they? So he can drive it. Because obviously the, the woman can't possibly drive around. So they go and get like an old beat up pickup so he can do the driving. Yeah. Uh, but that's not yet. They um, they have to go to hospital. And because... also, you can still find automatic. You can find like manual cars now. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. The fact that there was no manual cars available. Mm. No, but, she, but she's driving, isn't she? She's yeah, all driving no, automatic. Yeah. That's why they get one later on for him. Hmm. It's weird, isn't it? You go to America and they've got automatics. You think, well... It is good, though. I was loving it. I, I hate automatics. Speak. I don't like them. Oh, I when you're in the automatic. traffic, though, and you're just like... Assuming, oh, man. You don't want to you be driving a car manual. You need a car that does the, you know... Does Jerky like, thing. No, itself. It does the thing itself, where it, oh, well. in, in, in traffic it automatically rolls you forward. Um, I don't like automatics because you can't get enough go. You can't, like... If you want to razz off... You There's can't no drop it in America and, and burn it off, can you? That's yeah, yeah. No, so you're rising. I guess like in a not. Prius. You definitely can't. Still, just 
shove your foot down and then it no, it's goes. just a no, delay it's, not... it's like oh. there's a certain yep. level of rev you can get out of abusing an look, engine he's talking which like an automatic is never going driver. to do is it wow yeah. look at us all right clarkson yeah. look at no, us it's yeah. not, i'm not yeah. a clarkson i'm just saying it's <laughs> a true <laughs> fact a manufacturer is never going to do to an engine like what i'm going to do to an engine with, with a with my <laughs> <laughs> you know? got his driving gloves on yeah he's gonna go out on the country we're not driving mini metro oh shut up <laughs> no, no, I, I can see what you're saying. I'm anti-automatic anyway. Mm. Yeah, um, that's what we're. Well, if you ever here. drive in America, you won't be because it's a godsend over there. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out for my, with my clutch for, until they get mm. take it off with my cold dead hands. Uh, <laughs> right, they get caught by the police and they go to hospital because the guy is his condition is getting a lot worse. Oh mate, hell Jim yeah. Parker. Yeah. There's some great uh, convulsing, isn't there, on the, on the hospital bed? <laughs> Yeah. Like, he's absolutely yeah. going for it. Yep, 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 yep. It can't be much fun to act that out, can it? Where, like, he's, no. like, launching himself a foot off the bed. And, and what is their explanation for the fact that he goes so much quicker than the other guy? He had his hand on something, didn't he? When they went oh, through, okay. isn't that it? I think he was touching was something. It? Okay, that's all it is. So he's got okay. a bit of the past on his hand. Ah, right, okay. But what doesn't make sense is later on, the other one also develops that problem, doesn't he? But he yeah. didn't. So I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. But um, I do like how kind of that meeting you said where the guy's saying it's time to have a thing. Yeah. I like how relaxed the, all the hospital staff are about the fact <laughs> yeah. that there's a guy who's glowing with an unknown yeah. thing. There's an yeah, apocalyptic no one's... storm on the horizon. And they're all just yeah. like, this is you know, new nah. day at the office. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm a yeah. doctor. I'll deal with it. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and they're encouraging the woman to go away, but she's already fallen head over heels for oh, old, yeah. old Dave. Yeah, it's like she's got like Munchausen by proxy, isn't it? At this stage, <laughs> <laughs> like it's just like because doesn't she even say that the guy she left, like it didn't she wasn't she in a, a rubbish relationship? I think so, a, yeah, a terrible. Yeah. I mean, she's just oh, it's an awful, awful. Yeah, it's just. I mean, oh, it, yeah, the, it's just... It, it could be called like red flag the story, couldn't it? This because everything he does. <laughs> They, like the first time they get out, they go to that yeah. motel, and like she slightly upsets him by going, like, something like, "Oh, shall we call you yeah. down?" or something like that. And he just like literally flips the table over, starts throwing things at her, and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. And she yeah. goes, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, sh- I'm gonna go. I can't cope with this." And yeah. then instantly, just the, the gaslight thing of like, "Oh no, no, oh yeah. you shouldn't have asked me that question. Oh, I'll come back, come back." And she just yeah. falls it straight away. And I just thought, this is, you know, yeah, should be shown just- this uh, abuse meetings. <laughs> <laughs> just because it's just because his friends all flashy and convulsy. I mean, it doesn't mean that they're time traveling. Time travelers from, and also even if he's a time traveler, doesn't so he's just a dickhead. It doesn't mean she has to help him. Yeah, I mean, his attitude's just off, isn't it? Yeah, mm. it and is. and also like I don't know the whole the whole thing's a bit weird in that like she's extremely willing to go along with any plan he's got and invent plans for him, mm. but also won't actually believe him. She just keeps saying like, "Oh, I don't, yeah. don't really believe you." No, he does, but, no she, yeah, she says she doesn't really believe him. Until but she quite, drops everything yeah. and goes back across the country to yeah. wherever. I don't know. Yeah. Um, There's a funny bit now. when they leave the hospital, when they escape out the um, hospital, the guy that's chasing them, the major, slips on some snow. Oh, yeah. Like, really, <laughs> really badly. Like, it, I don't know if it was deliberate, but it looks really funny. Though. I also like the, the scene in the lift when they're escaping. That's quite oh, good. Oh, yeah, it? yeah. They're all that's the lift together. Yeah. And there's like a kid and like a really sick person, isn't yeah. there? And the guards are yeah. like, he won't like talk to him initially. He's like, like going to offend the, everyone yeah. else in the room or something. He's like, oh, you, you've got to come to me. You've got to come to me. And he comes out and just pushes him on the floor and runs off. It reminds yeah, me of uh, Star Trek 4. Is it mm. Star Trek Four? Yeah, yeah, it's Star Trek Four. Um, the other, the other plots going on meanwhile with the scientists, and it, it's it's a very long way of getting to the point of him admitting, basically, isn't it, that he did an experiment a long time ago? Yeah, mm. and there's some business with they find like the bit of the ship, mm. and he's it's got very like, convoluted yeah. how they're all connecting it together. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, he's got a filing cabinet full of top secret files, but every single file was this particular project. You know, it's that when he opened it up, mm. and he goes, like, "It's like I can't what the project was called." I can't, yeah, I can't remember what it was. But anyway, the li- the little bit on every single file is the same name of this thing. Maybe the they cancelled every single project. Except <laughs> he's been doing it all the way through. <laughs> he keeps trying to make it happen. Um, anyway, they concoct a plan, which is they're going to go back to, um, not Philadelphia. They're going to. L, they go to California, aren't they? Because yeah. that's where the 
where his family's from, the Philadelphia Something like guy. That, yeah, that's it. It's where yeah, it's where he's from originally. <clears throat> yeah. where his father was. Yeah, uh, just uh, you said about the hotel. I really like that talking alarm clock. I don't. I've never seen oh, yeah. one of them. <laughs> so did that guy. He looked. Yeah, it. I really. I kind of. I think want that's one in of every them. American hotel. It's like oh, is it? Name. Oh, I yeah. really liked that. I've never seen one. I really liked um, it. You notice how Ned Ryson's like holding a can of Coke in every single shot. Oh, well, I've written that down. The product placement is off the charts in this film. There was and a, he's holding there it in a, a point where even a shot of another guy, it's in shot. <laughs> well, yeah, the worst bit of it, it's actually now, when they go to California and they're in the car, and a, a car goes past them, and he goes, what's that car? And, and she goes, hmm, I think it's a Porsche. And then they, like, linger on the back oh, of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, in that yeah. same shot, she's got a Coke, and she's like, mmm, Coke. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah. this hasn't changed. And they both hold it up, and they're like... Yeah. And yeah, there was a low and brow can as well. For yeah, some yeah, there was. Yeah. I noticed. I There's was like, loads why of is it? Because I thought, oh, is this going to be thing where they're like, oh my god, the Germans ra- won the war? I thought they were yeah. going to be because they were German products. They were going to get all. We confused. keep wanting that to happen. Every film we, we say, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hopefully the Germans won the war, but it never, never happens. Doesn't happen. Um, no. Also, this bit I'd like to mention. We don't often talk about music and films because. Music and films mostly is very forgettable and just yeah. the same drab, boring oh, shit. Isn't it? I know what you're going to say. The shit we watch, yeah. Yep. Well, most most films, film music, come on. Yeah. It ain't great, is it? You've, you've got your outliers, but like... I don't know. The things at the top of our list are, like, the music is pretty Yeah, We, we talk about important. the music when it's worth talking about, yeah. What yeah. I'm saying is, in general, most films, it's yeah. just... Especially, you know, it just follows trends, doesn't it? It used to be yeah. all John Williams rip-offs. Now it's all Inception noise rip-offs. Yeah. It's all very dull, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, this film it is truly awful. Like it's all yes. over the place. There's like a Halloween ripoff bit. Yeah. There's a lot of weird beepy booping. There's a, like a military theme, and there's this yep. like eighties hair rock song. Yeah, um, it goes nowhere. Absolutely goes nowhere. Doesn't yeah, it? it's terrible. It's an awful song. <laughs> it, it's like yeah, they, they go through so many different genres, and yeah. they're all terrible. It's very strange. <laughs> um, anyway, they made it to California, and the guys on their tail. Uh, and oh, they go to the they go to the petrol station that his dad used to own. Oh yeah, and uh, I I like that they, they they go to the guy or fill up the car with petrol, or whatever. And he goes to do it. And he comes back and he goes, "Oh, it was almost full. Are you, are you sure you need petrol?" And for the whole conversation, he keeps asking them, like, doesn't he? he goes, "Are you sure you you, <laughs> you, want, you know the petrol was full?" And he bills them like four dollars for it anyway, which is yeah nice, but. Uh, <laughs> Again, very low key. Like they're doing the whole like pictures of him as a young man thing like that, but it's just yeah, so it's not, not in- inconsequential, yeah. isn't it? And, and it's not interesting. And no, they don't really have clever. a good. No, and no. they don't have a good. The romance that their relationship's awful. Like you say, mm. it's borderline, like abusive. It just doesn't yeah. work. This isn't why you'd watch a time travel film for no. like this All stuff. The product placement and yeah, especially one just this obvious. Placement. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as though half of it is a massive twist that you're like, oh, what's going on here? It's like, no, 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 like no, I no. say, you know, this whole film I think this is, is a weird, be so like, bad. infomercial. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I guess they had to pay for those special effects somehow, didn't they? So they, oh, they barely got any money then. <laughs> yeah, they got in Big Coke's pocket. Um, they go to the house of his mate, who it turns out came yeah. back. Yeah, so I didn't see this coming. Right. I thought he'd just be dead. Yeah. This was actually the best bit, I think, wasn't yeah. it? Because they they meet the wife, first of all. I thought she was doing a good job. She's the best actor in this thing, I thought. Yeah. Mm. Doing and a good job of portraying, you know. And they did a good job not to just stupidly age a young woman. Yeah. So they look yeah, really yeah, rubbish. Yeah, yeah. They just got an old person in. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Considering how little she's got to work with, I thought she did a good mm. job of, of... Yeah, I agree. And also, she, like, explains the best sort of, as you say, the most exciting thing about the plot, which is that the guy came back, mm. wouldn't yeah. uh, accept it didn't happen, and was sort yeah. of... Went mad, didn't he, basically? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but then also got over it, so when this guy goes out to meet him, yeah. he's now a, a rancher. He's got no interest in talking to him, which was a nice interaction. Yeah, all it? of that was fine. That feels almost like... You had a bit. You had a film there, but that's yeah. like mm-hmm. such a, maybe like fifteen minutes or something. So, do you think a better film, right? If those two had been gay lovers, right? And mm. that he had he'd moved on and found love, you know, now. But a bit, yeah. bit broke back mountain or something. Like he saw uh-huh. that guy again, and obviously to him, yeah. Yesterday they were in love and on you know on the ship yeah. together holding hands. That would. But this guy lived a whole life with a woman, changed his whole life. That'd have been a good thing, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. 
The way you could do that really well is if they time travel back in time to a period yeah. where it was not okay to be homosexual. Yeah. So yeah, then he'd yeah, had to have a conventional relationship. Well. Yeah. 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 Like oh yeah, like Doc Brown in like Western mm. Times, something like that. Yeah. Are you if, saying that Doc Brown's gay? Well, if Doc Brown and Martin Fly had been lovers, wow. and then Emmett, Emmett had gone back, lived his whole life, and yeah. met Mary Steenburgen. Yeah. And then Martin comes back and is like, "Whoa, I yeah. thought we were lovers, Doc." Wow. Doc. <laughs> We'd better film than Back to the Future Three, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. That's oh, not a great film. Oh, it's a fun film. <laughs> it'd be even better if you know at the end of Back to the Future Two and they tease Back to the Future Three. If that was a tease, you'd be like, "Also, Doc, I love you." <laughs> And then it kicks the back of Wild West. Yeah. 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 You'd be like, what the? What's going on in the next one? Crazy. Uh, no, they're not lovers. They're just old friends. And yeah. they, uh, they, they, he wanders off. Well, she's kicked out, isn't he? And there's a scene afterwards where the guy's like, I just don't want to talk to him. You know, he's talking to his wife. He's like, <laughs> yeah. just, she's like, you really need to help him. He's like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. No. Yeah. Yeah. But you wouldn't, would you? I mean, you spent your whole life but, being but again, told that you're mad. And I then... suppose. But again, it doesn't really go anywhere, does it? Like, he's oh, no, 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 bit. No, it's like, no. he doesn't. Them going there doesn't achieve anything other than getting that nice bit of sort of, mm. you know, that weird interaction. But there's no, like, no. he doesn't ring up a military guy and say, you know, oh, we've got so-and-so yeah. here, which he no, should do doesn't. to move the plot no. along. No, that's true. That's it's true. like just sort of circling around the ending, isn't it, for ages and ages? Yeah. And they get and then the, the military do find them now, and they get in another a car crash, which yeah. is brilliant, because they appear to flip about 15 times down a ravine <laughs> and just walk out, just walk off. <laughs> don't, actually, don't they crash early on as well? They do a flip. I think they do crash, they crash once. Yeah, yeah, and the first time they're caught, they do a big flip off the road yeah. and just walk off. Because he together. can't drive those automatic cars. No, it's too tricky for him. Uh, <laughs> and he's, they've killed uh, several military people or they're on fire or dying in that thing. And he just crawls yeah. and ignores them and gets the map and leaves. <laughs> he's a twat. He's the worst leading man in history. It's terrible. Um, yeah, so he gets the map and he finds out where they all are doing the new experiment, which is mm. back in Nevada. So they've got to go back where they came from. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant stuff. And we get the, this is where we get the guy at the roadblock with the rig who, yeah, as we said... Rig. He's really made the most of his... Yeah, because I didn't understand that, because I thought they'd hitched a ride, but they'd somehow got into the horse In the back box. of, like, a livestock thing. Yeah, yeah without box. anyone knowing what was going on. Yeah, he that was hard. know. Yeah, 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 that's really weird. The, and also, a horse, the horse box they knew was going to be heading to a military base. Yeah, mm-hmm. how did they know? Yeah. I don't get that. Doesn't make much sense. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, they, they still like guys, really, that's my rig! He just keeps <laughs> saying it over and over again. It's brilliant. And the, and the sheriff guy is like, just couldn't give a shit. No. I love him. He's just like, well, you know, you've lost it, mate. <laughs> That's brilliant. Law of the land. Um, and we barrel towards a conclusion, which is, oh, actually, before the conclusion, they go to the house, don't they? Of uh, It's like it's one of the assistants signed, of the doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who appears yeah. to be moving in with the doctor. And it's all, he's like, oh, the, the door's open. Come in. Yeah, that's really weird. Dinner's on the table. Yeah, and they go in. really weird. It's really odd, isn't it? There's also a bit when they're trying to when they get into the facility that the ceiling fall. They're trying. They've got to get through a room with a, a someone in it, and the ceiling just falls in and hits the person in the room. Yeah, and creates a distraction so they can sneak past. But you're like, yeah. why did the ceiling just fall in? Like, it's really there's a lot a of lot dragging of, out one set yeah, yeah. for a long time. That bit isn't yeah. there. That last bit, yeah, because they run so around. Do you reckon, the, reckon they just got all the navy stuff for free again or something? Maybe. I don't. I don't think they I think, got. I tell you something. That town, um, mm. da, 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 the town showing the destruction of uh, the town showing the destruction of buildings was shot in Utah. The city needed funds to pay for a new sewage system, so Stuart Raphael purchased a block of rundown abandoned buildings and had his special effects team blow it up for the film. Oh. So that's how he did that bit. But mm. must have got it cheap. I mean, there's not much naval stuff in this, really, is there? Other than that start no. bit. No. No. Mm. The end base is clearly just a set, isn't it? Just a rubbish yeah. set with a bunch of War Games esque computer banks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, they get in holding that guy hostage, and the the I guess it's the twist. It's not really a twist. Is that the guy has got to go back to repair this mm. this rip in time? He's a an aberration and needs to be. I'm yeah. completely lost track of like what the science is supposed to be by this point. No. Yeah. The idea yeah. is that they're two separate experiments in two separate locations. Beyond that, they don't really go into it today. No. That, that have somehow t- 
torn the same bit of time and so they've created uh, this like hole between the yeah. two isn't it so whatever they're trying to do is the same thing so there's a link between the town and the, the ship points yeah and yeah. what's gone wrong is that they happen to fall through the hole right because all the other people on the ship still aren't they because when they go back they're like fused into the body of the oh, ship aren't man. they all the rest of the that's the very John Carpenter bit it is yeah that bit is <laughs> But, the, but for whatever reason, these two managed to fall through this hole in time, and they and that's what the storm. The thing is, she fell because they fell off the side of the ship. Is that what it is? Yeah, into the hole. Be. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, and I think the idea is the vortex is like time trying to repair itself, isn't it? So there was just a ship floating around in the in, in the hole. Yeah, in yeah. the sort of the and a town. nether space. Yeah, and the town because yeah. the yeah. town disappears. Yes, as well. and the town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense at all, does it really? And when it came back, it didn't wasn't like brought back upside down or. Well, when it, I mean, well, in in old timeline, it doesn't come back, does it? Disappears, never returns. I think. Yeah. Isn't that what the implication is? What the ship? Yeah. Or did the ship always come back? It must have come back. Else, how would the guy be okay? Oh, that's true. Yeah, mm. but when it, yeah, but it comes back with them all. People are like inside the hull of the ship, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, like yeah. Arms yeah. sticking out and things like that. Yeah. Which again, There's an episode of The Next Generation which basically has a, very, a lot of this sort of stuff. It's like when that ship, it cloaks, but then it come, it's in the middle, it decloaks in the middle of an asteroid and there's some mm. people like in the rock and not in the rock. It's called yeah. the Pegasus. It's a horrific thing to have happen. Yeah. Mm. And if they just not had all the, the whole crew of the ship on board for no point, it re- wouldn't have reason, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> it wouldn't happen, Jeff. It'd just be them mm. two guys anyway. Um, yeah. Dave says I'm going to do it I'm going to go back I'm going to fix time mm. but not before he, he gets off with old uh, Alison yeah. okay. and she's like you're the love of my life you can't go Yeah. Mm. Um, and I was hoping that he'd walk in and then old him would walk out the b- through the back door and be like yeah. I'm st- I'm waiting for you and then she'd be like <laughs> yeah. too old now mate I'm off yeah, yeah. see that'd you later be, yeah that'd be great Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but no <laughs> More predictably, he manages to go back in time through, as Chris says, some Kubrick-esque stuff. Has a great old time smashing all those bulbs. Oh, it's yeah, like great yeah, fun, yeah. doesn't it? That does. Yeah, I just think so that's like hue hue effects they do with the colour. Like they're literally just doing this with the hue. Yeah, it's yeah. rubbish. It's really rubbish. Yeah, uh, he smashes everything up. The ship comes back. He has a moment to see his friend, so he's got the closure of like saying, "I oh, know it really yeah. did happen." Yeah, and then he goes back into the future. I mean, how does he manage that? Because the whole idea is know. that him being in the future means it can't exist. So I don't no, know what on earth. No, anyway. just and dumb, he just smashed the machine. Yeah. Yeah, it's just dumb. And, and he also he just knows, innately knows, that he can just go back by mm. whatever means. Yeah. The Despite town is no put knowledge. back perfectly as well, right? Yeah, yeah, everything goes back, yeah. Yeah. And and yeah, he rocks back up in the future and he lives happily ever after. With Makes a thing. shitty joke about... Oh, they all missed some back pain. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, That's the last line, isn't it, as well? Yeah. The last line of the film. Yeah. I got 40 years of back pain from just, the Navy. Just rubbish, like... And in the back distance, you can hear someone going, That's my rig! <laughs> That's my <laughs> damn rig! That's how it should have ended that film. Yeah. Uh, I've written here, very uneven and unbalanced film. And that is what it is. It's just yeah. like, what it doesn't know what it is, does it? It just doesn't... All over the place. It just needed more sci-fi, more action, and all the emotional stuff was just rubbish. It didn't work. And it like even like the last frame is like the A team or something, isn't it? Like yeah, it's yeah. just like like a freeze frame, like yeah. yeah. <laughs> it felt very TV movie to me. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Very Do sci-fi you know, channel kind of thing. Interestingly, it had the at the time it's released, it had the fastest theatrical to video window in film history. It opened in August and was released on video by late October. So. Maybe it wow. was made for TV. Like that is really fast, isn't it? Yeah, that's fast for now. Even that is. <laughs> yeah, this was eight, that's eighty four. Yeah, that's crazy fast. Yeah, perhaps the uh, the video came back in time from they <laughs> they they released the video after a year, but realised how badly it had done. So sent the video back in time yeah. to come out a few months later. They could maybe. Try and maximize. Maybe sales. Coke paid for it to be out on video quicker. <laughs> yeah. Back in time. Uh, also, weirdly, there's actually a sequel to this. Oh, is it? As well, yeah, which we can watch at some point if we, if we get desperate. Um, with the same, it's, this, it's the same dude. Like, it's a different oh. actor, but it's, it's, st- it's the same character. David Herdeg's in oh, it again. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't quite yeah. understand the poster of it. Oh, no, it's it, a weird poster, wasn't it? that robot on it? 
Yeah, because it's got like with like Johnny Five in the middle of it for some yeah. reason. That's at the end, isn't it? That's the thing that goes out when he goes back in time. Doesn't that roll out with him onto the platform? Yeah, it looks like on right? him fire. Like, well, they have airports to fight fires. It looks yeah. a bit like one of them, doesn't it? But it is a terrible poster. <sighs> no, it wasn't a good film. Uh, yeah. So yeah, for final opinions, Chris. What's your thoughts on the Alpha Experiment? I didn't like it. And <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, there's no actual real proper science. It's all just mumbo jumbo. Yeah. And yeah. it's like one of the worst for that we've seen. Like that. There, uh, there's no. There's no logical connection between what they've done. It's like been written by someone who really doesn't understand. Yeah. Like basic science literacy. Like yeah. it's really quite poor. Yeah. And that, you know, I, I could never, you know, I can watch like the roast, the worst film if there's like a backbone of something, but there yeah. wasn't even that. No. To make any sense, like they've got this invisibility then thing, they've got then the time travel, and then there's like this, you know, shield against rockets. Mm. ICBM thing like how are these things connected no I don't know they're not anything to add to that Alex no not really yeah it just felt really just uneven and like it felt like nine people had written it it just felt yeah. like yeah. there was an idea somewhere and then it just kept adding or taking from that and then it just ended up being a big mess and yeah. you know yeah. yeah I can agree with that as I say TV movie that's why I felt TV movie mm. and just didn't but it's like they've used the offcuts from a load of other th- shit yeah, yeah. It does like just that. feel very cheap. Yeah, as though like every set piece was like written out. There's a script with a lot more in it with crosses through it. You know, saying too expensive, yeah. too expensive. Mm. Um, to get back down to this, because yeah, like if John Carpenter's one had a, a war at the end, a naval battle, <laughs> it's a long way from there to what we get. Yeah, one man running through a bit of fire. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Not great. Would you say though? Is it the worst of the of our naval trilogy? Is it worse than? Mm. It's definitely worse than Final Countdown. Is it worse it's than Battleship? Worse than Final Countdown. Yeah, I think so. You think it's worse than Battleship? Yeah. That, oh, I don't think I agree it, with that. I don't know if it. Oh, but it was bad though. It was kind bad, of boring. But... <clears throat> I think with Battleship, <laughs> at least there's like some action, and you get to yeah. see like shit blowing up and shit shooting at shit. The yeah. thing is, I think maybe it wasn't... If you're just rating them as Battleship films, it was probably which the we're worst, not. which not. we're not. This but not when I look at where Battleship <laughs> is, uh, I don't know if this was worse than the things around it. Where is Battleship? It's very low, isn't it? Very low. 2019 I mean, directed um... by Who Cares? Did I write that? <laughs> 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 I've done that. That's good. No, I've got... You've got the director here. Oh, no, you wrote no, Who I've written Cares. Who Cares. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I don't Okay, think... so it's bad, but it's not as bad as the other stuff down there. I don't think I think Battleship has squandered a lot more than this. You yeah. Know? There's a lot of craft going to Battleship to make a terrible film. Yeah. This is just, you know, a few I weeks don't... in the desert. I mean, are we talking maybe it's around like Doctor Who and the Daleks? It's not I mean it's not much higher, but I think I think it's still it's still down here. Yeah. Just not necessarily Right down there. F- Star Trek yeah, Five. It's hard yeah. to get cool. passionate about it, is it really? <laughs> uh, Star Trek Five under Star Trek. I mean, 5. in science-wise, it's it's in the same realm as the core. Yes, it is. Yeah, because the core was just stupid. Yeah, under the core. Come on, how about that? Or Hot Tub Time Machine Two. <sighs> oh yeah, it could be under that. <laughs> Better than that. Yeah, um, um, below the core. Yeah, two oh seven. Yeah. Yeah. God. It's been a rough few weeks. <laughs> i got bad news. Not getting any better next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. At least we're leaving was... our naval battle uh, yeah. theme. Yes, we're season. over that now. Thank God. Yeah. So yeah. less troubled waters. Naval next time. warfare <laughs> season. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, right, yeah, so that was this week. That's in the list at uh, 207. If you've got non-military based suggestions for us, some happy science fiction films. Yeah, it's like fun. Any fun ideas? Uh, you mm. know, get in touch, let us know. Sci-fi mm. rating is the uh, 
is the social Twitter handle, Facebook handle, Instagram handle, and science fiction rating system at gmail.com for your email inqu- inquiries. Um, before we go, has anyone seen Batman yet? No. No. Have you? Have you? Right, I have, yeah. Ooh. I won't say anything if not. I, I okay. thought it was a little mini spoiler on the end of here, but if no one's seen it, then we won't do it. So I don't mind. sci fi, is it, I suppose? No, I don't mind, though. I'm not very excited about it, I'd have to say. Well, better than I expected. I'll say that for you. Oh, OK. Right. Three, three and a half stars. This oh. first first two acts, very, very good. Yeah. You get to see Batman Someone told me it was slow. Yeah, but I like that. It is slow, but it is... Yeah, you, you, you see look like Batman, Blade Runner type shit, don't you? Sorry. It's not as slow as that. Okay. There's a lot of Batman doing Batman shit. I mean, good, a good... Yeah. good, good what, a good, like, like grappling hooks? Well, some of that, but also... Solving like, things. A lot of detective stuff. Yeah. Oh, a lot. Of, that's what they said. A yeah, lot okay. of this film is Batman and Commissioner Gordon just going around crime scenes solving oh, stuff. Oh, okay. So he oh, never okay. used to solve shit in the films. He only used to do that in the old TV series. Yeah, but he does not like, This is, this is mm. detective... It's somebody yeah. who's, oh, the when penguin. you say Batman shit, I think grappling hooks. I don't. Well, there is that detect- as well. There's yeah. a great Batmobile reveal. Colin Farrell as a penguin is brilliant. Right. I had no idea it was him until after I came out and looked it up because mm. he looks oh, okay. like him, but he's really okay. good. Um, but all I'll say is the third act is uh, it, it just nosedives off a cliff at the end. It absolutely. Oh, uh, okay. But but it's worth watching. Up until that, you've got two thirds of film, which is. Uh, I'm not going to say the best Batman film, but it's definitely up there. It's definitely Ooh, interesting. It's an it's an interesting new take, and okay. that is very comic-y, but very I don't know. It's uh, you have to also stick with it because it starts and he's very um, he's very very emo. Oh, they play a Nirvana song and he's <laughs> he's got black eyeliner on and oh. his hair's all down this. But if you get get past that, when he's in suit in cape, he's really. really it did. I have to say, when I saw the trailer, it reminded me of the um, you know. Um, one of the Lego films where Batman plays his song. It's like, darkness, no yeah. parents. Yeah. It's all like about Literally, being sad. There's a shot that almost <laughs> is that. And they start playing Nirvana <laughs> and they cut to him like in, with all scars on his back in the back cave. Oh, God. Yeah, but you just okay. get get past that. Get okay. into the detective right. bit. Okay. Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon is brilliant. Yeah, I'm it's tired of like the Batman like backstory keep on oh, being God, told. Oh, God, who cares? Like, well, yeah. they, they don't do it in this. There's no... They, oh, okay. they, they get into Thomas Wayne a bit, but you don't see the... Create, he's already a Batman basically by this point. Okay, he's been good. Around for two that's years. good. That's good. good. Yeah, okay, uh, and there's good. no, you know, no pearls in the in the back of the cinema. All that business. Um, okay. You're saying yeah. all the right things. I'd have I would say. say definitely worth seeing. Mm. Just okay. walk out towards the end. <laughs> Once a certain main villain is got, okay, maybe just leave. Stop paying attention. Yeah, but, yeah. Okay. Um, mm, fair enough. Anyway, yeah, better than expected. Okay. So a cliff, sh- like kind of like the new Matrix sort of cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened yeah. a lot earlier, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's just they have to go. They have to go for a big finale. Yeah, and it, it makes no sense. Okay, but yeah. anyway, um, Fine. interesting. So cool. There we go. Mini mini Batman spoilers. Right, next week. What is next week? Next week, we are watching inspired by Battleship. Yeah, uh, another great big flop from that year, starring the same man. <laughs> is it from it the is. same year? Yeah, same year. Yeah, same year as Battleship. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it seems a lot older. That guy's career was fucked. Uh, yes, <laughs> we are watching John Carter of Mars. I think it's yeah. just called John Carter, isn't it? Actually, on yeah, they got rid John of the off Mars yeah. bit. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. It's on, the, the director obviously wanted to keep it because I think the film ends, doesn't it, with it saying John Carter of Mars in big letters. So. It just yeah. uh, just jumping ahead. I think he wanted to. I think it was supposed to be a trilogy, and it'd yes. be like the King oh, of oh, Mars. They'd oh, all be yeah. of Mars. It was but, Warlord of Mars, wasn't it? I yeah, think one of them. But yes, then they right. realised that that wasn't really wasn't working, so just changed changed. The name, Everyone yeah. hates Mars. Yeah, yeah people. Do. Mars films don't do very well. But they do like Mars. Basum. They do Basum films. Basum. Do brilliant. John Carter, of, uh, John Carter of Basum would be fine. So yes, uh, that's next yeah. week. Brilliant. Yeah. Right. We'll see you then. Cheerio for now. Ciao. 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 Ah!